okay, those are my isotopes or my um, three note groups in the same kind of configuration, just transpositions of each other. And I think I'm going to use those three um, isomers to build the harmonic language of this piece. That's my plan. Not much to start with, but to start.
Okay, I'm going to set that aside for a minute and work on some things that I recorded yesterday. There, is this better? Yesterday I recorded some radio noise and just chatter from around the world using a Radio Garden. It's an internet radio site and you can listen to radio that's live streaming all, all over the world. It's really cool. And the graphic interface is awesome. And uh, I just recorded a ton of stuff from that. And I went into the living room and taped or recorded some static from just uh, be in between the stations and radio here. And uh, just going to throw that in and make something out of it. This is going to sound really harsh at first, but uh, I'll soften it up a bit. I just want to hear what it sounds like. And I want to cut up bits that I can't use, like copyrighted music and recognizable speech. So I'll just uh, be chopping this. It looks to be about 20 minutes of radio noise. It's going to sound pretty gnarly right now and not in a good way. I'm just going to turn down the DAW for now until I'm done with this part. I think it sounds pretty cool. I recorded it with this uh, Shure MV88 Plus, and uh, just in the living room, with the over you know in the air. So it's not direct in. So you're gonna hear the clicking sounds of the radio and everything. So I like that.
That sounds really cool. You can hear it's Korean, just barely. I'm glad I got a lot of it. I'm going to cut out the really clear stuff because I have other radio that's really clear. I just want to focus on the kind of wash pink sound kind of stuff. Not exactly pink, like dirty pink. That's awesome. That is so cool. It's like straight off the radio. It's cool. It kind of has its own gating function there. Uh, with the, the noise kind of is activated by the signal. It's cool. I'm totally using that. That's just too recognizable as a guitar. Radio distortion. I don't know if I can use that though. I'll keep it anyway. Who knows? Can't use that.
So I think the rest of that's usable. I might have to go back and look for some more bits I can. Great, I think that's good for that one. Let's, um, I'm just kind of uh, taking stock of my sources that I'm going to use later. This is not radio talk, this is radio noise. Okay, I actually have um, a little video uh, of me recording this. I couldn't record this during a live stream because I needed OBS to do the capture. So it was the easiest way to do it. So I couldn't use OBS and stream at the same time. So if you can, uh, be happy to know how to do that. But I just did it yesterday, so you wouldn't have to suffer through all that. It would have been very. It would have made for a very bizarre watching more bizarre than this, which is hard to imagine. So while this is importing, I'm going to talk to you until it's done. And then I'm going to play a little video of, of what I think it's called Radio Garden. Well, we'll see. I just want to show you that it's a free internet source of watching or listening to streamed radio stations around the world, just pretty much anywhere you can imagine that has a radio station that participates and you can hear stuff, uh, music from all over the world happening right now. A lot of it is uh, dance music, uh, you know, through the night and talked through the day and <laughs> but some really cool stuff. I like the Jamaican ones. Okay, so I'm going to show that. Okay, it's not really showing, so it's not. It's not really. You can see the screen, but you can't hear the video from that. I, I'm uh, 
uh, funding act uh, which has been you know assented but not yet put into effect which is a threat to the local government election um, is a step in the right and what it looked like was uh, donations uh, even though i think the cap is still high at about 100,000 rands in terms of disclosures uh, we need to make public uh, donors to political parties it wouldn't be a problem for businesses to donate to political parties clement if indeed uh, so this is radio garden and 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 and, and, and listening and in on a bangkok talk radio station but it's not what you're hearing but it's what what it kind of looks like but i think there are other models coming uh, from younger politicians in the u.s and partly the obama 2008 campaign was pre premised on this where you look at crowdfunding and you look at society chipping okay. in as little as five rands, as little as ten rand mm. towards a campaign. But that only happens when the politicians inspire confidence in citizens. Yeah. What I think we have a crisis of in South Africa are politics that no longer inspire serious confidence in the general public. And therefore the general public is not so concerned to donate to political parties. And therefore now, political parties are left stranded mm -hmm. and they need to create and devise means for their own funding. If society resonated with... So just search uh, Radio Garden and um, if you're into that kind of thing, it's uh, it's a great, great thing to just leave on and, you know, think, oh, I'm listening to what people in, you know, Trenchtown, Jamaica are listening to. And uh, you can imagine all the cool stuff you can find radio dramas in China, um, political talk in Ireland. It's pretty cool. All kinds of stuff. And of course, all the stuff that you would imagine hearing, just like top 40 stations and stuff like that. Anyway, it's called Radio Garden. Okay, back to work. Parties and therefore now political parties are left stranded mm -hmm. and they need to create and devise means for their own funding. If society resonated with our politics, mm -hmm. it would be so easy for members of the public to make a donation to political parties as they did, for example, to something like a solidarity fund. Exactly. The EFF, on the other hand, has tried streaming countrywide. With the talk, streaming countrywide. Both of you, thank you for joining us for this conversation and guiding us through it. Um, is the ANC going to survive this? Um, Kanita Hanta is the political editor at News24 and Lukwana Mguni is a political analyst based at UKZN. So if, you, if, if the ANC fights corruption seriously, um, it's going to pay the price. And is it going to survive? without corruption money that that's the question 702 let's walk the talk streaming countrywide Venus are and this week the victim of the killing comes under scrutiny Called the social dilemma, but we're calling it the social conundrum because we'll be unpacking all those things that we need to understand about how social media works. Well, she's talking about the social the dilemma, is and a how, documentary course, on Netflix it right now, us as individuals and affecting and and how it affects our behavior, shifts in behavior. Contribute two hundred and ten rands. I did it, and that was due to the power of social media. But then there's the other side, the dystopia side that is harmful to society. Another side that I personally also know about. I did a TEDx Johannesburg talk. Good afternoon. I think that was out of Yo South Africa. Que es muy mal, pero es típico esta ciudad en donde la gente ve que lo que está bien es lo que sale en la tele. Parezco así como rego. Habla de español. La posta, digamos, como decir, eh, no, si hay un artista callejero, uy, por ahí tiene coronavirus, chicos, aléjense. I can use this, except I have to really mask it because there's I don't want to I don't want the music tones in the background to mess too much with what I'm doing, you know, tonally. Porque yo creo que también que es muy mal, pero es típico esta ciudad en donde la gente ve que lo que es bien, chito Nachito Nacho, Ignacio no me gusta. 
Eh, bienvenida, señorita. Nombre y colegio. Bueno, mi nombre es Patricia y mi colegio es La Vida, La Calle. Hermoso. This is really good because the the, the radio distortion uh, the, and the difference between the caller's sound and the host sound is really cool, I think. We can do something with that. I think this is Thailand. I'm not sure. ค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่
<laughs> just chatting with the wife. Just don't worry about it. and violence and that was something he was willing to talk about why did you end up in prison what did you do you decided to join they wanted the family to turn their backs on me because situation that was horrible to listen to i'm not going to i'm cutting that out right away this guy interviewing this murderer um, and ugh, just yuck <laughs> this I can use. Sounds like just talk radio day with Collins. haciendo por YouTube nuestro querido Yacaré Manso tenía un es, streaming un streaming YouTube. en vivo casi que me auto invité pero no salió yeah unfortunately I mean that music is really awesome and beautiful but unfortunately I, I can't use it <laughs> dije te llevo ¿Qué vas? que hoy se viene tenían o está pasan esas cosas ¿no? entonces también se iba por el no sé, ¿qué, ¿qué le pasa al payaso del circo? ¿Con quién sale la mujer barú? Mi loca, película ya más moderna. Primera escena de la película es un nene que va a abrir la puerta del baño y actuar era el payaso más famoso de esa época. ¿El puerto del baño? ¿El bathroom que... door? Y todo, haciendo espectáculos con una contorsionista, un dúo que cuenta chistes, esto, comiendo mucho. La primera que dije, el payaso y el Führer. O sea, yeah. Pájaros de papel que trata un poco más o menos la misma temática. Lembros que hace. Pero, no, pero, o sea, pero, va pero por le ahí. pegaste. Ah, listo. Pero creo que lo que hace y, se, y llega un sitio van acompañando el crecimiento. Yeah, there's music going on in the background, but I think by the time I get done with um, filtering this track, it'll be uh, incomprehensible, the music. So. Um, We'll, we'll just we're just kind of going to put all of these uh, recorded voice tracks um, into uh, a ton of processing and turn it basically into sonic mush so that I can spread it over the background of the kind of like the canvas the background of what what the piece will become so um, if that makes any sense kind of mixed metaphors but I think you'll get what I mean if you stick with the with the stream I won't get to that today, but um, right now I'm just uh, collecting source material that I recorded and <clears throat> I came up with a few cells of notes um, to kind of form the harmonic uh, material of the piece. And we'll be putting all that together and I don't know what it's going to be. Um, I have a general kind of feeling idea what I want it to be, except um, that never usually turns out to be what the piece becomes. What the piece becomes is whatever it becomes during the process of work. So that's, that's, that's how I work usually. So this is just the very beginning process of a new piece. 
and I have an idea that is going to kind of unify the whole album. The idea is isomers, which I'll talk more about later. It's a chemistry term, but um, and how it applies to I'm kind of using that as a guide for putting together this album and the pieces on the album. And right now I've got Isomerism 1 finished, and uh, it's not published yet, but um, if you go back to the previous stream, you can see and listen to the whole thing as I made the finishing touches on it. So that's about a 20 minute piece. And this will probably be, I don't know, 20, it, it might be more or less, but uh, we'll just, this is the process. Thank you for joining. De, de un niño hasta que seas adulto que va pasando por diferentes Marina. lugares colectivo rojo escenas hermosas de todos no hay ninguna hay muchísimas películas igual que hablan de esto eh... okay that's the, that's it for the talk radio Let's see what else I have Actually, now that I think of it, I think the music that they used behind their their little chit chat at the end, I think that was music from Marvel movies, MCU. Digo rojo, que los tipos hacen deportes extremos haciendo circo. Yeah. Eh, hacen. I think it is. Yeah, it is. It's adventures, I think. Yeah, I don't think I can use that, but I'll, I'll probably I'll mash it up so much that no one will even be able to hear it. But maybe because, just to be safe, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of it. Yep, bye bye. Yeah, I can't use that. Too copywritten. Okay, there's already a lot of material here. What's next? Okay, this is just, I, I made this recording a while back, uh, just my microphone sticking out my window. It's a city noise, I guess. You might hear some construction, people banging on stuff, cars going by, motorcycles, that kind of thing. Just the kind of hiss of things. This will probably become a more calm layer of the sound. Quieter. I don't know what I'll do with it.
Birds. I'm just going to listen to the peaks. Okay, I may or may not use that, um, but we'll keep it anyway, just in case uh, we run, uh, we need something else. And that yes or no on that will uh, present itself if need be. Yeah. So I'm going to come back to those three note sets that I did in the beginning. Okay, I'm going to take a break, and while I'm taking a break, I'm going to play some music from the previous album called Solace, and uh, so I'll just take a few minutes and maybe get some more coffee or something.
sorry I'm This is my wife's melodeon, and I'm just checking to see if it's in tune with the uh, guitar. And the guitar is in tune, so I just want to make sure that I can use this as a source and that sounds nice with the rest of the sounds that I use. And I'm also just kind of playing with the, with the tri chords, the three note chords. Unfortunately, it's not in tune with the rest of it, so I don't know if I can use it. Back to the drawing board. I can use it. I just, the, the work that it would take to get it in tune with the rest of it, probably not worth it, because you can't, I don't think you can really tune a melodeon. It's, you have to just kind of live with it. One of the things I want to do with this album that I've kind of been doing this lately is not using synthesizers. Um, I just kind of, I don't know, I don't have anything really against synthesizers, um, just that they sound like synthesizers. And I don't know, I just don't want to use them right now. So I may break my rule, but for now, I just want to use sources that I can record. Um, using direct in or um, microphones like this guitar and uh, those, those radio sounds and stuff that I recorded outside the window. But I'll probably use guitars and my trumpet. I was hoping to use the melodeon. Maybe I will. Uh, there's nothing that says that it has to be in tune. Um, if it works, it works. So. I'm going to keep the melodeon handy in case I want to record something later, but that will that won't happen until later. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do today. Uh, I might come back to this later, but um, yeah. So thanks for hanging out, and when I figure out what to do next, uh, we'll get back on stream and work on it there. So for the damn site live isomers project. Um, this is session two, signing off. Thanks everyone.